What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to give you a very important social security and child tax credit payment update. A lot of people have been asking, hey, what's going on? Are we going to get another child tax credit payment or is that not coming? And then I also get a lot of questions. Well, what about people on social security? What about the elderly? Are they ever going to get anything extra? Well, we got some reports and I want to bring that to you today. Now, Here's what you need to understand. Democrats realize they have a very limited window to pass legislation. They have this thing called a lame duck session, which we will be in, well, we're technically already in it, but they will come back, the Senate will come back to Washington on Monday, which is uh, November 28th, and the uh, House of Representatives will come back to Washington and they will be in session on Tuesday, November 29th. Now, what's important about those dates is this is the start of the final window, the final session. So they have three weeks to pass legislation. This means this is three weeks to negotiate any bills, to pass legislation, to do the votes, everything before the end of the current Congress. Because in January, it will be the newly elected senators and newly elected representatives that will take over. This also means Republicans will control the House of Representatives. We know over in the Senate, Democrats will still remain in control there, and obviously President Biden is going nowhere. So here's what's gonna happen over the next three weeks. Democrats still hold the majority. So here's what needs to happen. According to reports, we're getting a bunch of uh, you know different updates from lawmakers trying to push the leaders. This is uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi in the House of Representatives and the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer in the Senate. They are trying to push them to pass some type of legislation, to get a bill on the floor, to do something for the American people because they say, you know, you know, everything's just gonna uh, crumble and fall apart come January. Well. Whether or not that happens, honestly, we don't know. I don't think it will because I don't see any legislation pa legislation passing in January or after. So here's what this means. Representative Pramila Jayapal and others are urging Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to put legislation on the floor as soon as possible because they understand that they have no power come January and after because what's gonna happen is Congress is gonna be gridlocked. We're gonna have Republicans who are gonna to try to pass bills in the House and it will go over to the Senate and it will sit there and die. In the Senate, they will pass bills, they will push that legislation over to the House and it will sit there and die. Nobody's gonna pass a bill if it's a partisan bill. Now, here's why this is such a big deal. In this lame duck session, Pramila Jayapal and I think like 57, 58 other representatives, they are trying to urge our leadership to pass legislation, but by doing so, they want to make a trade with Republicans. Now, what Democrats wanna do is they want to extend the child tax credit payments. Okay, and this is where things get very interesting. They want to extend the child tax credit payments just like they did in 2021, but they understand that this is not enough. Republicans would never go for this. So they have to give them something. They have to extend that olive branch. Well, they're gonna consider giving Republicans their research and development tax credits, which come out, according to reports, about $20 billion a year. Now, here's the problem. One year of the child tax credit payments cost last year $100 billion which is $80 billion more than the 20 billion that Republicans would get. So as you can imagine, this is not something that is gonna happen. This is something that $80 billion apart, Republicans will never go for this. Even some Democrats are not gonna vote in favor of this. Now, this is where getting, uh, this is where we're getting even more reports that says Democrats have to be willing to give more. Well, here's something else that could get Republicans on board and it has to do with Social Security. Now, I don't know who is bringing this, um, who is saying these things, 
but the reports are indicating that uh, Democratic um, Democratic uh, congressmen are, are talking about these changes. One of the big changes would be to increase the full retirement age. Again, this is coming from a Democratic uh, uh, congressman. Now, here's the difference. What Republicans want and what Republicans have wanted for some time is to increase the retirement age, the full retirement age, up to age 70. Now, obviously, this is something that Democrats don't want to do. This is something that people that are right there close to that, uh, being able to collect Social Security, they don't want that either. But according to this report, it wouldn't be go. It wouldn't go all the way up to age 70 immediately. What would happen is they would only increase it by one year. They'd only go up one year. That's it. Now, that's still not enough to make up that $80 billion gap, but that could be enough to uh, persuade Republicans to jump on board with this. Now, here's the other thing. There would also be another big change that comes to the child tax credit payments. According to this report, uh, the people that who would the people in which would get the child tax credit payment and would be eligible would need to be eligible based off a new lower income limit. So it wouldn't be the what was it 150 thousand or whatever it was back in 2021. Obviously we had some inflation. We had uh, you know we got to make up for this difference. So that's where we would be with that. So that's one of the problems there. But the good news is they are now discussing it. And the reports indicate that this next couple or the next three weeks, we will have an answer as to how close we're getting. So um, that's one thing I can tell you about that. Now, here's where things get very tricky, though. If Democrats do attempt to put the child tax credit payments into the government funding bill, then the reports indicating that it will simply be pulled out. It, it won't even uh, lead to any negotiations. And the same goes for Republicans. Because according to this report, Republicans want to push the research and development tax credit uh, extension into the government funding bill as well. And again, if this happens, they're not gonna they're not gonna get much of a negotiation. The Democrats will simply pull it. And here's the other thing: is we would probably pass another CR, which is a continuing resolution, so we would not get a complete government funding bill. And that's what President Biden wants at this time. So. The key here is that Democrats are simply looking for ways to provide uh, for those that are truly in need. And research over the past year has shown that parents and the elderly are the ones that have been negatively impacted the most financially. So that's what we know at this time. As always, I just wanted to fill you in on what's going on. Again, there's a lot of stuff happening this week. My guess is we're gonna get a lot more updates. So make sure you stick around. Make sure you do two things. Go ahead, hit that like button. Also, click that subscribe button so you never miss an update, and I'll see you guys on the next one.